What's up YouTube? I'm Alex Carpenter and today I want to talk to you about CSS variables and how I'm using them on my personal website right now. Um, to give you a quick introduction if you are unfamiliar with CSS variables, um, simply how we can start using them. We're going to set them by do creating a root element and I'm just going to make this CSS so it knows the color syntax. So we can create a root element like so and then to create a variable, we just need to use two dashes and then we can call it whatever we would like. So I'm going to call it color primary. And let's say our primary color is just red. Now to reference that variable, let's say our body element is going to use a color of that. So we'll just use color primary. So this is how we set a variable and this is how we reference it to make use of it. Um, another thing that we can do is override variables. So we can have another root element and we can do color primary. We can set that to blue. So what we can expect to see here output is blue simply because this root element become, comes after this root element. Um, so that's how we can override CSS variables. Um, kind of what I'm doing on the web, my personal website on my work entries and we'll get to that in a little bit. Uh, but another cool thing about CSS variables, for a lack of a better term, is they are live. Um, so you can see here I'm making use of purple as my primary color. So it's being used in the background color of my SVG. It's used as underlying color and outline color. Um, let me show you the logo SVG really quickly here. Um, it's compressed right now, but you can see right here I have a, a fill on this circle that's referencing that color that color primary. So that's what's making that purple. Um, and like I said, CSS variables are live. So when we open Chrome DevTools here, um, what we can see towards the bottom is a list of all of my current um, variables that I'm using on the website. And you can see down here, color purple um, is being used. Um, and then that's just being referenced within my primary color. So if I click this color and I choose another one, and we can watch up here, um, as I select that color, everything changes um, and is live. So you can see that color change. Um, so that's kind of what I mean by the color or the variables are live in the browser. Um, it's really nice feature about it when um, when you're working with SAS. If you use a variable you're not able to do any type of manipulation of that variable outside of SAS being compiled. So that's what CSS variables gets us. We can start making use of those colors um, kind of in the browser and create them dynamically, which is what I am doing for these entries right here. Um, so for my Amway Global entry, uh, I have two colors set and I'm just creating a linear gradient for this card. But where it really starts to come together is when I go to the actual work entry page for Amway Global. You can see here, I'm updating the, the SVG logo, the underline, and the outlines all to make use of the theme from Amway Global. So you can see here, let's go back to all the work entries. We can also see on, let's say the Conservation Legacy, they use this green color. So you can see that being reflected here as well. So that's kind of the cool thing about theming that I can do in the browser with CSS variables because I'm setting these via two um, color inputs um, from Craft CMS. So you can see on the Amway Global, I have a primary and secondary color. Um, and that's what's being reflected in these entries. Um, let's see here. Let's open up Live Preview to show you a little bit more about how these are dynamically being set. Like, so if I update this primary color right here, we can change that to the like a salmon color it looks like, and you can see over here it get reflected. Um, so that's what I mean by these colors being dynamic in the browser. Um, it makes it really easy to theme certain pages, um, something you wouldn't be able to do normally with uh, SAS variables. So that's a really quick introduction to CSS variables and how I'm currently using them. Um, if you have any questions, reach out below and uh, thanks for watching.